now we have come to the end of the course. I hope you have enjoyed it. Jaakko, there are some issues that were not included specifically in the course. Segmentation was one of them. What do you think about that? Well, I think first of all, at Hanken, we would like to continue to advocate most of the theories and, and views that you have uh, come up with and presented on, on this course. And uh, to me, it seems that one of your main points is actually the fact that, that uh, you should always uh, let go and drop all the kind of pre-assumptions about what customers uh, like and want and need and value and instead uh, also always discover what each individual customer basically values and finds valuable. And from here, of course, uh, kind of a continuation of this is that, that, that we have to acknowledge also that different customers are different, right? Mm. So that there are different customer segments. And, and that's, that's basically, I find it very much aligned with your own, 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 own views about uh, customers and uh, finding out about what different customers value. And this comes uh, basically then boils down to segmentation as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very uh, nat uh, natural continuation of, of your own thoughts and perspectives to customer value as well as customer management. To yeah. the, the next step, think about uh, segmentation issues in more detail. Or what do you think? Well, yeah, yes, that's true. I, I, I agree. And, and um, also, as to segmentation, I think uh, throwing away old thoughts about what it is and how you segment is a good idea. Uh, segmentation, in my view, has to be done based on behavior, on, on uh, the, the prospective consumers, users, behavior and then probably found out that there are not so many different behavioral uh, means or ways of behavior six to ten perhaps that you you will you will find in that way people do not behave in uh, so many different ways so there you have a, 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 a number of uh, segments that are very manageable because the real segmentation happens uh, in the interactions with the customers. Because service very often, not always these days, but, but very often still include direct contacts with the customers, where, where a, a, a person meets the customer or a smart technology meets the customer. Or the customer meets your employee and the customer meets a smart technology. And uh, there you need to understand that customer who now meets your employee or meets your smart technology, how these customers thinks what this customer wants, what goes well, what doesn't go so well, so that your employee can adjust immediately. That's true segmentation. And this also goes for smart technologies, that as much as possible you can create the same time of uh, possibilities to adjust immediately to, 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 to the customer there. And obviously, of course, the digital online uh, tools of business allow you also to make even more targeted uh, segmentation and provide even more targeted value to each and every customer? Or what's, what's your, in general, your view about the digitalization of oh, service, yeah. service yes. provision and as well as service sales? Yes, I mean, a digital solutions and digitalization is, is, is growing in importance and will grow in, in, in importance, at least in the near future. What happens then, we don't know. Uh, but I think one, one thing, to, it's healthy to think about it in this way. Digital technologies are just technologies. Way of uh, um, communicating, way of providing service, way of uh, doing a lot of things. And uh, one should not become slaves of digital solutions, but really try to make use of them. Then on the other hand, of course, digitalization enables firms uh, to be established that, that didn't exist before, that can be immediately, so, as, as, as we say, born global and uh, reach out to the, to, the, to the market throughout the world, or at least far beyond the, the, the local uh, national market, which was difficult uh, before, of course. By the way, what is your view of overall the globalization of uh, different business sectors, and is it possible to, uh, to to design and develop this kind of service offerings that are appealing to basically customers around the world? Yes, that's interesting. It's really an interesting question. I mean, traditionally it's said that service is local. Uh, and mostly, it, I think it still applies. 
that when, it, when, you, when you offer service outside your, let's say, home market, uh, you need to adjust. I need to adjust to, to, to the environment, cultural environment, geographical environment, also the level of knowledge that exists among customers right. and distributors and in, 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 in the, those markets. But the, the use of digital technologies uh, enables you to reach out in, in a way that uh, couldn't do before. And that, uh, again, opens up new opportunities. And there you need to think about how do I then basically make my, my offering different for different international global markets when I immediately reach out to lots of global markets. And that really is a challenge where uh, I don't see any solutions. Uh, on the other hand, all this is really so new, so I guess that the challenges are, are only surfacing so far. So would your advice to companies then be that they have to find out for themselves in their specific businesses and industries that to what extent, uh, what do the customers actually value? Do they value the same things in, in, uh, in, in different countries, uh, different areas, uh, based on the digital versus tra um, traditional business and so on? Kind of Absolutely. And not make assumptions about what the customers want. Instead, Absolutely. find out for yourself. Absolutely. And this, of course, has always been the case in, in global marketing, but it is specifically the case now because it's so easy to forget it with the possibilities of reaching out with digital solutions, reaching out so quickly to, to the whole, whole world. So, yes. But as to, as to the course, all, all uh, the, the concepts and models that, that, that we covered during this course were... Um, as the title of the course sets principles of service management. And in each and every <coughs> situation, uh, a firm has to adopt right. uh, and, 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 and uh, make sure that it functions in, in, in the firm's specific environment and the specific environment of the market and, and, and the customers there and so on and so forth. Exactly. Well, in, in my view, one of the greatest lessons from you and, and your uh, views and theories has always been that you should not make assumptions about customers. Instead, you should also always find out, discover what the customers value, what the different customer segments also value, and then uh, adapt to your organizational processes to that. Mm. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes, I absolutely agree. And I would add to that, one should not make assumptions of existing management models, uh, but also challenge them. And, and uh, that is an important task right now when you think in terms of service and, and adopting service logic in, in, in the, the, the business. Thank you. Thank you.